And I'm fairly new in some faith, really, although I've been religious all my life. And I didn't know what it meant until I came here. I just want to say... God is glorified when we worship him together. So I think it's got to be a must for all churches to embrace all the different people that come. It's a blessing to see how we've grown as a church um, in terms of diversity. And that has come about because of the, partly because of our intentionality in having our meetings um, inclusive and diverse. I think as a whole is to keep open the sense to, to receive and see what's coming, you know, being observant and open the senses to see what is being given to us. I think the world has changed so much since my young life, I don't recognise it, but I'm jolly glad I'm part of it. That attitude within those that are leading is so important, an attitude of being prepared to lay aside issues of, of power or of gain in order to include and embrace others. If you are going to celebrate and embrace your diversity, then that needs to be reflected in all aspects of church life. So yes, in the welcome, yes, in the worship, yes, in the way that we do church, in the way that we um, do leadership within the church, I feel needs to all reflect the flavor of who we are. Otherwise, I don't think we're being true to the kingdom. Why it's worth pursuing is we're in a very divided nation now where we find it hard to accept diversity. We want our way to be accepted and we can see how that pulls different people apart. Actually, as a church, we have a responsibility to witness to the world that actually it's love conquers everything and that God in control, we can work together. And uh, I think that's gonna be a massive witness. If, if Christians can stand up and say things like that, you know, I can work with these people, God's leading us here. I think that's gonna have a massive imp impact. The hardest, I think, is actually incorporating everyone equally because there's so many different groups, like there's the, yeah. the, elderly, like the elderly folk, Nepalese, and like the youth, it can be so hard to balance it. Having a process where you're enabling people to understand why we're doing this and that we want to embrace other cultures, be it um, age group, ethnicity, whatever, um, is an important part of the journey. Yes. Listening together, together to God, yes. because we know one person can't know it all, yeah. we all should be listening together. Mm. So we're doing what God wants us to do, we're doing what God wants for this church family. You'll have noticed there's flags all around the building. We isolated um, the Indian and the Pakistan flag for a few months and we prayed. And we spent time over those times praying that we would have Indian and Pakistani families actually come to the church. And they started coming, which is great. I mean, that's, that's a blessing because this is an area where Indian, Pakistani, Somali families and others um, are here in great numbers. When I was in Nepal, I wasn't Christian, but when I came here in 2013, I became Christian here. And when I see people here being together, singing, and all those things that we do together, it just encourages me to learn more, to become more. It just brings me uh, to desire more out of it. Sometimes we've had people from Nigeria uh, who, who would say to me, we sing that tune, that hymn, but to a different tune. Mm. So I say, well, what tune do you sing it to? And then we all learn the tune that, uh, that they sing, make them, makes them feel at home and also freshens things up for, for us. As a white English man who's been in this church for, you know, 40 years nearly, um, and, has, and I've seen it change from uh, a church where I was firmly in the majority to one now where I'm totally in the minority um, has actually been, it's, yes it's been a challenge, it's, it's a massive blessing, it's a huge blessing. It can make things more challenging and in a way that makes your relationship with God stronger. We can learn from one another, learn to worship together in our different ways. Yes, there is no one way. I think we've got to be big enough, we've got to love enough to say there are other ways and I can learn from it. You can do these things really simply and start, you start with what you've got. My heart is about saying to people, you can do this, you can actually do this, if, with minimal resource, 
it's entirely possible to do. What's needed is the will to, to want to do it. <laughs> when the word of God says all the nations, all the peoples come and exalt the Lord, and this is the symbol, this is the experience of being those people.